Hey, how's it going? I'm Joe the Pool Player. I've been playing this game for 10 years and I have a 550 burger rating. But here's the deal. On my best days, I play at 600 speed. Problem is, on my worst days, I play at 500 speed. So here's the way I see it. I'm actually a 600. If I didn't have the skills and knowledge to be a 600, I wouldn't play like a 600 on my best days. So to me, I'm like a 600 who lacks consistency. My problem is consistency. In fact, I'd say that's a major difference between pros and amateurs. Pros are consistent, amateurs are inconsistent. Of course, most of my days are typical days, but there's a country mile between my bad days and my good days. So I imagine top pros look like this. Not only are they way better than me, but their bad days are not as far from their good days. They are more consistent. I'm not Joe the Pool Player anymore. I'm Mike Page from Fargo Ray, and I'd like to bring the eye of analysis to the issue here because you may know someone who thinks like Joe the Pool Player, or you may be someone who thinks like Joe the Pool Player. So we'll descend into the 9 million game Fargo Ray database to see what we can learn. So we're going to take a handful of players who have played many thousands of games over the past few years, and we're going to break those games up into 75 game segments. Now, that's not breaking it up by day, but 75 games is about the number of games you can play in an 8-hour day. Sometimes it'll be a day, sometimes it'll be a week, sometimes it'll be several weeks of league. We're looking for swings. How do the best segments compare to the average segments compared to the weak segments? We'll start with Brian from Fargo. He has an average rating of about 436. On his good days, he shoots about 500. On his weekdays, he shoots about 380. Okay, that's Brian. Let's add Roy from Massachusetts and Ken from Oklahoma. Roy's about a 550, who, as you can see, on his good days, shoots at about 625 speed. Ken's about a 630, who on his good day shoots at 700 speed. Significantly, there's not a lot of variation in the swings that we see for these three players. How about the pro players? Here's Brian and Roy and Ken, but also Oscar and Shane. The striking result here is that everybody seems to have about the same range of performance, and we've actually looked at a number of other players as well. There doesn't seem to be a correlation between rating and consistency. Well, I'm Joe Pool Player again, and I want to know how can this be? I mean, the pros have this incredible pre-shot routine where they approach every shot the same way every time, and I'm well, I'm all over the map. So how can it be that if I got instruction or developed a pre-shot routine, that I would not become more consistent like the pros? Mike Page again. It certainly is true that if you developed a shot routine or got instruction or learned to stay down on a shot, that that would impact the low swings here more than it impacts the high swings and it would move some of the low swings toward the high swings and that would appear to narrow up the curve. But some of those low swings would actually move further and you would have some effect even on your good swings. The net result is improvement at this game is not a narrowing of your performance, it's a shifting of your performance. It looks like this. Hey, until next time, thanks for listening.